welcome back to my channel. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. I'm so excited to share with you this Ray Dunn inspired DIY ornaments and I'm also going to show you how to download and install a font from defont.com. The very first thing we want to do on this project is to get our ball ready. Now I picked up two balls um, they were um, two for one pack at the Dollar Tree. You could buy your balls already white, but I really like the idea of being able to um, make my balls um, myself. And so I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to make these white balls. So here is my finished Joy one that I added a little piece of ribbon to. So I'm gonna set it off to the side. And then all I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove the holder, put it off to the side, and I am just going to add my paint. Now, sometimes the paint is a little um, thick, and so you want to give it a good shake. And all we're going to do is we are going to put some glue, or some glue, put some paint in our ball, and then we are just going to work the paint around, okay? really easy. So just think of all the different colors you could make your balls. Um, I've seen um, people even do the reverse of the Ray Dunn and do black with white lettering, which looks really cool. So you just need to work it a little bit. And then the reason why I've got this cup out is I'm going to get to the point where it's almost down to the bottom and then I am just going to let it hang upside down to get rid of the excess, the excess paint. Now one thing I like to do is, so I don't start to get paint places, is maybe even just shake it a little bit. But just cover up that hole. And then you can continue to work it. You could probably water down your paint a little bit if you wanted to. Um, I've just been doing it this normal way, just straight, but you could definitely dilute it some. So I just keep banging it. One side I've got all the way down. It doesn't take a long time to do. I've got one side that's being a little ornery. So I'm just gonna shake it a little bit. Like I say, you could definitely water this down a little bit. But all I'm going to do now is, and see, I've got the one side that's just being a little ornery. So I just keep, just so I can make sure that I get it all nice and covered. Almost got it there. Yep. Almost there. Sorry about that my trusty guard dogs. Okay, I've got it all the way covered. So I'm gonna take my little thing off and I'm just gonna dump it upside down in the cup and I'm gonna let it sit there for a little while and then we will work on our design. We'll go over and download a font, show you how to do that and then I'm gonna pull it into design space and we are gonna cut our vinyl and we're gonna put it on our ornament and we're gonna be ready to go. We first wanna start this project by bringing down the font we would like to use. Now Cricut Design Space has quite a few fonts, but I really like the um, Ray Dunn theme. And so I went out to defont.com and this is one of my go-to websites and it has just got an unbelievable amount of fonts. You can see if you're looking for a fancy font or a foreign look or gothic or basic script, all different types. Now I have found one that is called the skinny. Um, and if I could spell it right, we'll go and bring it up. And I want to show you how easy it is to bring down a font. So here is the one that I would like. Now these fonts are free to use if you're not selling your product. If you are going to want to sell your product, then you really need a commercial um, license for it. But for me, I, 
I'm just using this to make gifts for people, so I would not need a commercial license. But I will tell you, one of the most important things when you're installing a font is... Do not have Cricut Design Space opened. You need to install the font to your computer and then open up Cricut Design Space, and then it will um, recognize the font. So with my Mac Airbook, I have downloads, and I'm going to bring up the skinny because that's the last thing I brought up. If you're working on a um, Microsoft um, computer, then you just need to do, or excuse me, a Windows computer, then you would just go to your downloads file. And then what we want to um, install is the OTF. Now there is a skinny bold and just the skinny. I'm going to install just the skinny. So all you need to do is double click on the font. It's going to come up and it's going to give you options here. Now there's just a regular font for this one and I'm going to hit install. Now you guys are going to see an error out here or a problem with the install on this one because I already have this font installed on my computer. And you can see here there's a minor problem. You guys would just get the font installed and then what you do is just close out of these windows and then we're going to launch Design Space. So now when we go into Design Space and we go ahead and sign in, we are just going to start a new project. And with that new project, I am going to be able to find that text I just downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and go with the Ray Dunn theme. And I've already done one um, Christmas ball that said joy. So I'm going to go with love this time. And so I'm just going to type love. And I am going to go up to my fonts and I am going to go the skinny. Oops, again, I can't spell. And there is my font. And there is it in the sign space. So now what I like to do is... I've measured my ball so I know that I can have about a one and a half um, inch design. So I'm going to go ahead and look where it's at. Um, I am going to go with my height because my height is what I know can be one and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that. And then the other thing, the rate done um, fonts are a little bit closer together. So what I like to do is come up to my letter space and I just play with it a little bit and I just bring them together. Okay, so there you have it. You have got your font all done. So the next thing we're going to do is we are just going to go to make it. Now, the cool thing about these is you guys can use up your scrap vinyl. So as you can see here, I basically need a two by two inch piece of vinyl. I'm going to do it with black vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit continue. Now, one thing that I've learned with the skinnier fonts is I like to select just regular vinyl. But the other thing that I found really helps is just add a little bit more pressure. And then I'm going to go ahead and load my map. I'm going to go ahead and um, click the go button and I'll join you back as we weed out our piece of um, vinyl. Okay, so I just removed my vinyl from my machine and we are going to go ahead and weed it. And you guys all know how much I love my pin pin. So of course I'm going to use that for my weeding. And I actually look like I can trim off some of this. And with these Christmas bulbs I'm doing, I can always use scraps. So I'm gonna go ahead and just weed that and just be really careful. And it pulls off just beautifully. Remove the middle and there we go. Now, normally I use my blue grid transfer paper but I'm going to show you a trick on how to put this on a round bulb. And so I am actually just going to use contact paper today. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on and varnish it on really good. I'll use my little varnishing tool I didn't have grabbed out. Go ahead and grab that. And so you can see that that pulls up just perfect. Now, 
For us to be able to get this onto a round surface, the first thing I like to do is trim. I kind of had a big piece of contact paper there, but that's okay. And we are just going to trim this up. Okay, and then the trick here is to put it on a round surface, we want to add slits. So we are just going to put some slits just like that. You gotta be careful. And you are gonna find how easy this is to put on a round surface. This is also why I don't use my blue grit um, transfer tape because this is a one-time use. So now I'm gonna go grab our ball, our Christmas ball, and we are gonna put this decal on. Okay, I've let my ball dry for about a half an hour and we are going to get ready to put our design on it. So one of the things that I like to do is make sure that our space is nice and clean. So we are going to go ahead and do some rubbing alcohol right along the area that we are going to be putting our vinyl on. Just do that. The other thing I like to do before I put the vinyl on is I like to put the holder back in. Now one little trick I found with the holder is if you pull it up, squeeze it together. Let's set our ball down for a minute. If you squeeze it up like this, kind of hard to see, you can get it back in pretty easy. Make a liar out of me here. There we go. There we go. And now, so we've got it back in. So we're all set to go. Okay. So sometimes it, it works better if you kind of can prop up your ball. I don't really have anything handy to do it with right now. So I'm just going to kind of hold it. We have our design that we already took from Design Space. And this is the key. Remember how we cut the slits in it? So it's like that. We're going to taco the vinyl. What I mean by taco is I'm going to bend it and you are going to go from the inside out. And you're just going to do one letter at a time. And the nice thing is, see, I can just hit that V and the E is still sticking up. Then I can come over and I can manipulate the E so that it spreads out the way I want it to spread out. And then I'll go to my O and, and just making sure that L doesn't slant in a little bit too much. You just gotta play with it a little bit. And there you have it. That O isn't quite down. Pull him back up just a little bit. Just, so just take your time with this, okay? The nice thing is that paint's on the inside so you don't have to worry about that at all. And then we are just gonna remove the contact paper. And the nice thing about using contact paper is it tears nice and easy for you. So you can just do a section at a time. And so I've uncovered the E and now I'm going to the V and I like to go from the bottom up removing this type of vinyl on a ball. Um, it just seems to work the best for me. And then you can maybe just look at that and look how cute is that all done. Now I like to grab some ribbon and add a little piece of ribbon to it. So let me just Grab down into my stash here. I should have been prepared with a piece of ribbon out. I always keep my little scrap pieces of ribbon. So there's a cute red right there. And you could do a bow if you want. What I find is really cute though, is just to bring it up about that high. I like to trim them off and then just do a slip knot. And so that way, that's how you're gonna hang it on the tree. 
So how cute and easy is that project? So now I have got a love and a joy. So I hope you like this project and I would love to see if you guys make some. So please tag me on your social media channels and let me see what you guys are making. Thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. I hope you like this project on Ray Dunn inspired Christmas ornaments. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to be reminded whenever I upload a video. If you have any questions, please sure to add a comment below. I'd love to hear from you.